Um Joma Ahmed and her family escaped what she describes as an ugly death in Sudan's Darfur. Missiles had been raining down on their neighborhood, she says, in South Darfur's capital, Nyala. They fled to the relative calm of the East Darfur city, El Da'in. The situation is exhausting and scary. People are getting killed by missiles. That's why we left our homes and moved to safer places. We wanted to stay safe, otherwise you'll face ugly death. The missiles blow people to bits. We left our land and fled. War that erupted between Sudan's regular army and the paramilitary rapid support forces in Khartoum has unleashed a surge of ethnically charged violence in Darfur. It is the RSF's power base and a region already suffering from long-running violence. On Monday, conflict monitors said the paramilitary group had seized a town in South Darfur. Clashes around Cass had caused up to 5,000 households to flee, according to a tracking system run by the International Organization for Migration. Cass is around 50 miles from Nyala, where, according to Ahmed's daughter, Nagla Saeed Mohammed, many families were lost amid heavy fighting and random killings. Many people, not one person or two. You might find three siblings killed together, two brothers. People were killed even in the mosques. On Friday, the Sudan Conflict Observatory reported that the RSF and aligned forces had allegedly carried out the targeted destruction of at least 26 communities in Darfur. That, it said, had forcibly displaced at least 668,000 civilians since mid-April. The US-based monitor said it was a pattern of attacks identical to those deployed by Sudan's government and the allied Janjaweed militias in 2003 to 2004. That is when mass atrocities were committed as they fought to crush a rebellion in Darfur. The RSF developed from the Janjaweed militias into a large and well-equipped fighting force with official status. It has said that it's not party to the recent violence against civilians in Darfur.